China wishes uh, to turn Canada into a vassal state. Very worried about how the Prime Minister is working against the interests of his own country and his own people. They've been warning him for years about this. And what has he done? He's covered it up even in her. Welcome back to Canadian Political Clips, where we bring you the raw truth that the mainstream media won't touch. Today's report is a doozy, folks. So grab a seat and buckle up as we dive deep into the murky waters of Trudeau's latest missteps and questionable alliances. As tensions escalate globally, Trudeau's leadership is more baffling than ever. Instead of fortifying Canada's defenses and uniting our nation against looming threats, Trudeau seems more interested in playing low politics and cozying up to China. It's a dangerous game, and Canadians are paying the price. Let's start with Trudeau's frivolous spending on boat projects. While the world teeters on the brink of disaster, Trudeau is frittering away millions on virtue signaling initiatives that do little to address the real challenges facing our nation. From funding Black History Month speakers to hosting equity lectures, Trudeau's priorities are seriously out of whack. And don't even get me started on the announcement. He will give $1.7 million to groups supporting gender and sexual minorities abroad. But the real kicker? Trudeau's blatant disregard for our national security. At our intelligence body. This has never happened before. They must be very worried about how the prime minister is working against the interests of his own country and his own people. They've been warning him for years about this. And what has he done? He's covered it up, even encouraged it to continue. And so they are so concerned about how the Prime Minister is acting against Canada's interests and in favour of a foreign dictatorship's interests that they are actually releasing this information publicly. And what is Trudeau's priority? Not to stop the foreign interference. No, that's not the problem for him. The problem is the whistleblowers. But he's, he's against a real investigation into the foreign interference we know happened, but in favour of a tough police investigation into the whistleblowers who are exposing it. This is the Trudeau's pro. This is exactly what he did, but it's exactly what he did with Jody Wilson-Raybould. She spoke out against him helping a, a liberal company get off criminal charges. He didn't go after the corruption. He went after the whistleblower. Same with Mark Norman. He still spoke up. A, a, a respected admiral spoke up against liberal corruption in the issuance of multi-billion dollar contracts. And did he go after the corruption? No, he went after the whistleblower. He always stands up for the corruption against the whistleblower, and in this case, against Canada's interests. As our military struggles with critical vacancies and outdated equipment, Trudeau is more interested in pushing politically correct agendas than safeguarding our nation. It's a shameful display of incompetence that puts Canadian lives at risk. And then there's Trudeau's troubling ties with China. Threat environment that we've not anticipated ever in our history. China wishes uh, to turn Canada into a vassal state. And they are using uh, techniques of uh, intrusion and interference that no security services have ever seen. Um, and we are uh, scrambling to keep up to be candid about it. Um, I think uh, in some respects the Canadian public is alive, become much more alive to this form of threat. and. Um, and uh, this is not something that we can continue to let go. From welcoming Chinese spy cameras into our government offices to turning a blind eye to foreign interference, Trudeau's cozy relationship with Beijing is raising serious red flags. As warnings sound about China's aggressive tactics and attempts to undermine our democracy, Trudeau seems content to look the other way, all while Canadians are left in the dark about the true extent of China's influence. As global catastrophe looms, Trudeau remains oblivious lost in his own fairy tale world of diversity and inclusion. But Canadians deserve answers. Why is Trudeau selling us up to China while neglecting our defense? It's time to hold Trudeau accountable for his dangerous agenda and demand real leadership that puts Canada first. So folks, get ready to hold on to your seats because the scandalous truth about Trudeau's leadership is about to hit you like a freight train. Stay tuned for more explosive revelations and hard-hitting analysis, only on Canadian political clips. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay informed and stay vigilant. Peace out. <music>